Okay, in this uh, section of this introductory video, I want to share with you a little bit of the science of how the ICE method works. And uh, I came on this uh, basically because of just sort of a skeptical engineering attitude of wanting to know how things work. I got involved with a process called the Emotional Freedom Technique, and it was providing really amazing results for people's emotional uh, distress, calming that, and also some amazing physical things. And it sent me on a journey of reading and discovery, and now I feel like I have a, a lot of confidence in how um, healing can happen using the method of the ICE method, and when it happens in other methods, what's actually going on. Okay, so what I want to start with is a quote from a book, Figuring Out Fibromyalgia, and it's written by a medical doctor, Ginevra Lipton, who specializes in, in working with fibromyalgia, and she has fibromyalgia herself. And so I'm going to read that quote to you because she says that medical science hasn't yet figured out how to turn off the switch of the stress response that gets stuck in the on position in fibromyalgia. Okay? So fight or flight gets stuck on for people who have fibromyalgia. And then she writes this. When we do that, we will have found a cure. So she is just flatly stating that when we can turn on, when we know how to turn off our fight flight stress response, we will have found a cure for fibromyalgia. Okay? I know how you can turn off your fight flight free stress response. I showed you that in the preceding video of this series. This website, my book, are devoted <clears throat> um, to helping you become proficient at doing that on an ongoing basis so that your symptoms reduce or eliminate. Lipton even uses the word cure. Okay, but for me, um, that your symptoms will reduce or eliminate if you can turn off your fight, flight, freeze, stress response. I showed you how to do that in the last one. And here's the science of how that works. Okay, the first thing is a book by Bruce Lipton, and he's a cell uh, biologist specialist who understands that the stress or the emotion that we're feeling, if we have a lot of stress, something different is happening to our cell membrane than if we don't have stress. And he calls it growth mode when we're in a relaxed state, protection mode when we're in a really stressed state. Okay, so in protection mode, fight, flight, freeze mode, the cell membrane actually closes off to protect us. The body and the cell functioning in the same way don't care if you live to be 100 years old. They just want to get you through the next couple of minutes of danger. Now, when that system gets stuck in the on position, you can imagine that the body is constantly in a mode of just trying to survive the next couple of minutes. And so that's not very good for your long-term health. And it would make sense that over time, the body could just wear out of energy and you start experiencing lots of pain, such as in fibromyalgia, right? On the other hand, when the fight, flight, freeze, stress response turns off, when we're calm, the membrane of the cell opens up and all kinds of communication can happen. We can take in food energy. We can get rid of waste. The DNA strand can repair and we automatically move into the state of health and restoration. Okay, that comes from Bruce Lipton, The Biology of Belief, a really remarkable book that's had a lot of influence for a lot of people. Well, how would you turn off your stress response? Okay, it turns out that there's a wonderful book by Candace Burke called Molecules of Emotion that talks about the emotional state that we have actually corresponds and creates a chemistry for our mind and our body to function out of. That chemistry is a peptide molecule, basically a short protein, it's a stack of amino acids, and depending on how you arrange those amino acids, you get a different peptide. The peptide is an instruction molecule. Created from your emotion, it instructs the cells. So back to Bruce Lipton, the cell membrane, these peptide molecules come to the cell membrane, they pass through and they provide the instructions for what the cell should do. Okay, so if you could create a calm peptide with your emotion, it would instruct the body. There's many way, different ways to do that. The technique I use is the two-point method and the space in between that I showed you. 
Um, I actually first found that in a book called The Secret of Instant Healing by Frank Kinslow. Um, but you could use a breath technique like uh, many of the Buddhist and Asian traditions uh, follow many different ways to get into this state okay, of calm that turns off the fight, flight, freeze, stress response. But when I told you what the acronym of ICE means, right, C is for calm, the E part is the exchanging of peptides. And that's what, at this point, very few people know about in terms of using it in our practices because it's a recent scientific discovery, only in the year 2000, by a gentleman named Kareem Nader. And there's been scientific articles out in just last summer, the first book specifically devoted um, to this research came out. It's called Memory Reconsolidation. There's another psychiatrist who has written a book called Unlocking the Emotional Brain, and he uses it. And then there's my book, Fibromyalgia Relief, which is based on memory reconsolidation. The discovery there was that not only in the present can you produce calm, but you can go back to stored memories. If you pay attention to them, if you identify them, then you actually activate the proteins, the, the peptides that are stored in the synapse. And those can be replaced with a different peptide. So you use Candace Pert molecules of emotion. You create a different emotion using the calm state. You create a different peptide molecule. When you exchange, when you observe back on that old memory, you literally are bringing the chemistry of calm to the old distressed peptide and replacing it. And you can now, if you do that process, look back on traumatic memories and recount them with calm. Whereas before this process, when you look back and you paid attention to them, you would have a bodily reaction, right? Shoulders would go up, heart would get tight, stomach would uh, stress out, whatever it was. You would have a bodily reaction, which makes complete sense in terms of Candace Burt, Bruce Lipton, and the study that I've done about how cells work, how our emotions create chemistry. Okay, I wanted to give you this brief introduction because if you have a skeptical mind like I do, then you're going to want to know that there's a scientific basis for how the ICE method works. This is just a brief introduction. I invite you to read my book and get a much fuller uh, understanding and sense of how the ICE method works in terms of the science. But then also here in the video course that I provide on the website, um, there's much more detailed information about how this works. And I invite your attention even to those books that I mentioned here in this video if you want to learn more. What I really wanted you to do is to be able to, to begin to use this ICE method with a confidence that there's a reasoning behind it. There's a science and there's a predictability that if you choose to use this method, there's a very high likelihood that it's going to make a great difference for your life. And that is my hope for you. Welcome to MyFibromyalgiaRelief.com and the ICE method.